get things um, underway. Um, and uh, we are very pleased that uh, this year, Karen Farbridge is able to come and join us. Karen, of course, as you all know, is the Mayor of the City of Wealth, um, and has long had an interest in um, the work of the City of Wealth. And she is, in fact, our honorary chair. Um, so it's great to be able to have her to come and to keep off the event. Ms. Karen. Pollination Wealth for organizing the symposium. Um, a lot of work goes into organizing something like that, and you can see it just by all the things around the room. So, thank you for the work on the symposium, but especially for all the work during the year and the work that you do to um, raise awareness around uh, pollinators, but also do more than that, make sure we have a healthy habitat for pollinators in our city. Springtime. Kind of, it's kind of cold, but it's uh, at least it's lovely and sunny out, and so you can start to think about springtime. So um, the theme for the, the conference today, the symposium today, is about getting out into the garden and, and um, helping with ideas about how to build um, gardens that will attract pollinators. Um, I think I'm talking to an audience that understands the role of pollinators, that's why we're here. Um, key to the reproduction of so many native plants in our, in our um, landscape. And so without them, existing populations of plants would decline, and even if soil, air, nutrients, and other life-sustaining elements were still available. And so I, I say that because I want to stress that the city of Guam understands the importance of pollinators with one every, out of every three bites of food resulting from animal pollinators. And over 80% of all flowering plants need animal pollinators to reproduce. Thus, to ensure the city retains its healthy ecosystems and productive gardens, farms, pollinators must be protected and their needs need to be considered. The city will continue to work with pollination wealth to find and use city properties for pollinator-friendly plantings, such as the Eastview Landfill, Riverside Park, and the Trans-Canada Trail. The Eastview project will replace invasive non-native species of plants with pollinator-friendly native Ontario plants. The project will help to protect pollinators and their habitats, as well as serve as a means of advocating for policies and practices that reflect the importance of pollinators and pollination. Supporting the work of pollination wealth at the Eastview Pollinator Park will broaden our understanding of pollination requirements as well as local diversity. Threats to pollinators are evident and we see the large-scale planting of native Ontario forbs and grasses as an innovative way to address some of those threats. Now, I get to um, bring greetings and speak about um, topics that range from soup to nuts. And so I always love it when I learn something new. In, in preparing for a presentation. So, how many people know what a form is? Yeah, I think there's a few, but there's a few hands that didn't go up. And so, a form, I had to look it up because that was a new word for me. Maybe I got it in Walking 101. I don't know what I have subsequently forgotten. But, a herbaceous flowering plant that is not a graminoid. Anybody know what a graminoid is? <laughs> <laughs> so, graminoid is grass and sedges and rushes. So can I get an example of a form, a native Ontario form? Was that no big? Yes. Okay, good. So there's an example of a form. So we will learn. I have to look that up on Wikipedia. So we were the first municipality in Canada to include the language related to pollinators in our natural heritage strategy and official plan such as to protect and increase habitat for pollinators wherever possible. Um, that's really significant. Pollination wealth should be just really, that's a real feather in your cap for that to happen because I can tell you, other, as municipalities, we steal and learn from each other all the time. It's something we're really good at. And, and we share a lot. So with that policy being in our official plan, you can know that is going to influence official plans and policies across the country. Um, so with that single thing that you've accomplished in wealth, you're changing um, land use planning and parks planning across the country. So 
which would feel really, really good about that thing. Um, we are a strong supporter of pollination for our schools and activities. The City of Guelph challenges and encourages other municipalities to plan and plan for pollinators as well. So I really wish you a successful symposium as an organization. You've been enormously successful in, in raising awareness and changing practice, um, not just in Guelph, but across the country. So thank you very much. Thank you.